Okay, so for your first step, it's where you're going to make your subgroups. So if we have 15, let me make that a little bit lower. So you have 15x to the third minus 10x squared plus 6x minus 4. You're going to break that down into two smaller groups. Now, your second step is you're going to find the greatest common factor for these two and the greatest common factor for those two. Find greatest common factor for both. Okay. So we know that, make a little side note here, that 15 is equal to 3 times 5. And 10 is equal to 2 times 5. So the greatest common factor of those two is just 5. So you have 5 here. And the greatest common factor of x to the third and x squared is just x squared. Okay, so if you crossed out your 5, the 15 is replaced with 3, the only thing left. And if you have x to the third and you factor out x squared, that just leaves x to the first or just x. Okay. Same thing with the 10. If you factored out the 5, you can go ahead and cross that out. That leaves you with 2. You have x squared. You factored out the x squared, so you don't have an x variable there. Okay. So now do the same thing with 6x minus 4. The 6 is 2 times 3, and 4 is 2 times 2. They have a 2 in common, so that means the greatest common factor is 2. So we're going to bring the 2 out to the front, and if we go ahead and cross that out, for the 6, we cross out the 2, that leaves us with a 3. We didn't factor out an x, so that x goes down there. Same thing here. We factored out a 2. The only thing left is a 2. So we have minus 2. So the goal of this was to make sure that these two match. So matching binomial. Okay. So as long as they match, we can factor them out. Okay, so you have 3x minus 2 and 3x minus 2. We can bring that right out to the front. And just like before, you can go ahead and cross those out. And whatever is left will go into the other parentheses. Bring that up some. So that means 5x squared goes here and 2 goes here. So any questions on that one? All right. Leave that up for a few seconds. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> it's bugging you now. <laughs> no problem. Say, for example, you want to factor by grouping. Three x squared plus four x y minus three x minus four y. Okay. 
The one thing you want to notice is that when you have your middle term is minus, you want to be careful, and I'll show you why in a minute. So be careful when the middle sign is negative. Okay, so your first step is yeah, you want to make your subgroups. Okay, so you have 3x squared plus 4xy minus 3x minus 4y. And you make your subgroup there and your subgroup there. So your second step, you're going to factor both of those. Okay. So with this one, the only thing they have in common is an x term. 3 and 4 doesn't have anything that you can factor out of both. So if you bring an x right out to the front. So the 3 stays the same. So if you decide to do that on the side, you have 3x squared, which is just 3 times x times x, and 4xy, which is just 4 times x times y, where the x is the only one they have in common. Okay, so if you cross those out, you're left with 3 times x and 4 times y. Now for this one, negative 3x is just negative 1 times 3 times x, and negative 4y is just negative 1 times 4 times y, where the only one they have in common is a negative 1. So if you factor out that negative 1, you're only left with 3 times x. And the reason you want to be careful is because that sign now changes. So that comes from minus 4y to plus 4y. And if you're ever a little leery as to whether or not you did it right, if you distribute it, it should give you right back to where you started. So you can always check it as you're going. Okay, and now we have our matching binomial. 3x plus 4y, and 3x plus 4y. Okay. So now that they're matching, we can go ahead and factor it right out. We have 3x plus 4y, and since we factored it out, we can go ahead and cross those out. And anything that's left will go into our second parentheses. So you have x minus 1. All right. So any questions on that one? All right. So, let's say if we wanted to factor by grouping. Two a squared plus five a b plus two a plus five b. And I'll let you start on that one.
great. Okay, so for your first step, you're going to make your subgroups. So 2a squared plus 5ab plus 2a plus 5b. Break those down to two subgroups. Okay, so 2a squared and 5ab, the only thing they have in common is an a. So if you want to do the steps, 2a squared equals 2 times a times a. 5ab is 5 times a times b. So the greatest common factor is the a. So you have the a. For 2a squared, the only thing left is 2a. And for the 5ab, the only thing left is 5 times b. Plus, for 2a and 5b, they don't have a greatest common factor, so the greatest common factor is 1. 2a, remember that's just 2 times a. 5b is 5 times b. Nothing in common, so the greatest common factor is 1. Okay, so you just bring a 1 out there. You didn't factor out anything, so that stays 2a. You didn't factor out anything here, so that stays 5b. Okay, which brings you to a third step. We just go ahead and factor that out since we have our matching binomials. Okay, so we go ahead and factor 